So if you got yourself one of these horn kits, with the pre-wired plug and the so-called plug and play with the bracket, and you get to this point and find out the picture looks nothing like the one on the website, what I did, I've already removed the horn, which was a 13 millimeter bolt up here and popped off the plug. That's what the horn looked like. And then I realized there's no recessed pieces here like on the website shows, nor are those screws that they show there. So I made some measurements and marked the plastics. So I'm going to trim these out and then across with a Dremel tool so that this would sit flush here. It would look like that though. And I will screw these in with some self-tapping screws. So if you have a Dremel tool, you can use the Dremel tool. Although, if you have an oscillating saw, it will be a lot easier, especially to get the back edge cut out. Uh, as far as these two go for the Dremel, it's not too bad. Gonna clean this up with a little bit of a file, knock down the rough edges. Go ahead and put your bracket up there and mark your holes with a pencil. You could use a self-tapping screw or a rib nut. The back of this is hollow. You can't get to it from either of these sides. Although from the inside this direction, you can get to the back of it. What I'm gonna use is use a 13 16 uh, large head aluminum rivet. So I'm gonna drill two holes and then I'm gonna pop these rivets in because I, I I won't need to remove it in my purpose. If you use a rib nut, you could take it out, I guess, in the future, but I don't need to do that. Solid. Next thing you do is take out these two provided screws. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on them. I'm gonna put a little bit of this dielectric grease inside these connectors. And then I'm gonna connect them to these blades on all four of these. That way no water creeps in the uh, connection here. All right, with dielectric grease inside of all our connections, I'm gonna put our horns up and mount them with the provided screws. Size 10 socket, go ahead and tighten up these horns. So with the two horns in, zip tied this wire back here, brought the main line up and zip tied it. I'm gonna bring this over, I made a small hole through here. I'm just gonna secure the, uh, the wire across the top here. I'm gonna bring it over to here where it's plugged in. And I'm gonna tighten all this up. So with the horns mounted, I zip tied up in here a little bit, brought this over, made a hole. Brought that even farther over, down. I made two holes for this zip tie from the original horn location in. Put that wire down here. And then I made my connection happen in here. So when the grill goes back on, it's completely hidden. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these zip tie tag ends off and get the grill put back on. Didn't really show a video of how to get the grill off, but it's gonna be the same procedure to get the grill off as it is to put it back on. There's these clips on the bottom and these clips fit inside of the clips down here. So we're just gonna go ahead and line this one up. Make sure those are all popped in. After that, up here, there's a screw right here on the left. And there's also one here on the right, which I'll show you. These are all little snaps. I'll show you how those snaps work real quick. I utilize the trim tool and to take them out. I just got under one side here and then pulled that and then got behind it, pulled the whole thing out. The next piece that's gonna go on is the bezel that goes around the grill. It goes in this area here. So, let's get that piece. This piece also, this one's out of metal. You do have some snaps on the bottom. And then those two screws we were talking about, excuse me, those screws we don't do it. These are held on with pops also. So these are gonna go on. All right, now that we have all that on, just take the snaps, make sure that the plunger is all the way out, get the tabs in, push in, done. The large screw goes right here. That is a T20 Torx. Gonna work our way around, get all those put in. T20 Torx, four on top, one on each side. Make sure all this is pushed and clipped in. And that's it on installing your new horn.